So what happened when you search Google through a VPN? The first thing you're gonna type your search term that will get translated to a get request against HTTPS google.com and with a query parameter that is your layer 7 application data. We can then extract the IP address of google.com and the protocol through the HTTPS, which is 443 TCP on TLS. That becomes your application data, which will be padded with the port destination port and the source port. And that becomes an IP packet, which will be padded with the destination IP address of google.com and your source IP address of your IP address which we're trying to protect here. If you have a VPN, that IP packet will be encrypted using the VPN symmetric key. Then a new IP packet will be created that with the destination IP address as the VPN IP and the source IP address as yours, including that encrypted packet that we just saw. That whole IP packet will be sent through the internet and for anyone sniffing during your ISP, they will see that you're talking to an IP address, which is the VPN in this case. The VPN server will receive your IP packet and then it knows because you have previously established a session with the VPN that, hey, it's you actually, and is gonna decrypt that content and find out that is actually you. And once it decrypts that packet, it will know where you essentially wanna go. In this case, you wanna go to google.com. It will change your client IP address to its own so that it communicate to google.com on your behalf. That new IP packet is now sent to the internet and to Google, they will only see that the VPN is talking to them. Subscribe for more software engineering content.